All right, I'd like to talk to you people about free satellite TV North America, my new Facebook page or group, my new Facebook group. Come join it if you're in North America and you want to discuss uh, free channels, satellite receivers. Um, feel free to come join us and then uh, uh, we'll have a discussion and uh, a squirrel there. <laughs> So I, just, I started up this uh, Facebook group um, just because I thought, uh, I saw there were groups out there but they were focused on other parts of the world but not so much on on uh, North America. So there's like a European one, there's uh, so I just kind of made it, I don't normally like to make things regional but I thought in this case it'd be good to have it regional just so that people know that's mainly we're going to talk about the free to air channels that are in North so America. So please check out the free satellite TV for North America and channels plus over to TA, OTA and stream. I don't know. It could come up with a better title. <laughs> I should have, I don't know. Anyway, just because I wanted to kind of make it centered toward North American channels because there's so much worldwide stuff, but mainly what we can get here in North America. Of course, there's South America, which sometimes it gets some of the beams, but sometimes the South American beams we can't get here in North America. Or you can, but you need like a huge dish. Like they'll have KU feeds, but you'll need like a huge KU band dish to be able to get them. Also, check out my page, the Happy Satellite Nerd. Well, Robbie Strike videos on Facebook. If you want to send a comment or a link. Today on the Happy Satellite Nerd, I'd like to I'd like to talk to you about streaming versus satellite and the differences and which it's hard. It's a, it's a bit of a discussion which is better, which works better. And it, it depends on the, on the situation. Like if you live in the country and you don't have high, uh, you don't have reliable high speed internet, satellite is a great alternative to get some free TV channels. And if you live if you live in an apartment building, but you're in a more city town type area, more likely you're going to have um, internet service uh, in your area. So sometimes you, in an area where maybe it's not possible to put a dish up, or you're on the wrong side of the building, streaming might work for you. Uh, there's different options. I'm fortunate enough I can have all best of both worlds. I have a, a, I have many options. I have my over-the-air antenna. I have my satellite stuff. I have streaming. I'm on YouTube most of the time. I know a lot of people are like, oh, we watch movies on Netflix, and sometimes, sometimes there's movies that you can find on YouTube that you can't even see on Netflix or whatever. Because like, I like old movies, so. You know, it depends on what you're looking for and what you're trying to watch. So, I mean, there's, it's, uh, some of the pros about satellite, for example, C-band and, and all that, picture quality on satellite sometimes is better because even though streaming set will say, well, you can get the HD feed of this, but really it's a very, uh, like a subscription service, uh, satellites, uh, um, uh, pay satellite, you might get you might get high definition channels, but it's pixelated and a very compressed image, so you can tell that it's pixelated. So that's one of the um, not so great things about um, like subscription satellite streaming and even free to air satellite. Like there is some channels that um, they're up there to be distributed and they have a very low bit rate, and they're still using MPEG two. And they haven't moved up to uh, to speed H uh, two sixty four. So it, it's really not necessarily an argument which is better, but it's just different and depending on uh, your situation. Um, a lot of the free to air channels you can find if you go to their websites. A lot of the time they have it free on their websites. Now, I'll give you an example. Um, I think it's like Comet TV. I'll use it as, as an example. I used to be able to watch Comet TV, but then they region blocked it. And so, in this country, you can't watch a lot of things. Like, uh, I don't know if you can get a Hulu Plus account in Canada. I'm not, I'm not even sure. I haven't even tried to get that. I don't even know if you can get a YouTube Red account uh, or or would I have to pay per episode to watch the rest of Cobra Kai? I don't know how that would work. But, uh, uh, there's, um, definitely, um, less options, I guess you could say. Like, in Canada, we have this Bell 
which is pretty much Bell's, uh, I think it's Bell, show me. And that's all we get for streaming like that because of region blocking content for your mainstream content. I don't care. I, I believe in support, support your YouTubers. Support me. Give my video a like. Other videos you find on YouTube, give them a like. Give them, you know, help that community out if you're going to help anyone out. <laughs> um, but yeah, YouTube's a great, uh, great option. Uh, a lot, and, and there is places where they're putting their shows on YouTube. I mean, that's a good, you know, um, there's ad revenue to be made there. You know, um, that's a, YouTube's a great spot and they uh, help creators like such as myself to make a little bit of money to, um, uh, when they're doing their hobby to help pay for their channel, help me to get a new camera and, and, uh, stuff like that. Really, I don't make a whole lot of YouTube, but it's there. The options are there. So, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, there's the thing, of, well, do you want to put an 8-foot satellite dish in your yard? Well, maybe, uh, that's one of the things you'll have to look at, like, if you're able to do that. If you're out in the country and you have lots of land, it's not a, it shouldn't be, a, it's not a big problem. Um, uh, but uh, there's that option. There's options. Some people I know they have uh, they have subscription TV service, but they also have free to air. Just because there is channels that you can get on free to air that you can't get on cable. That uh, cable won't bother carrying, but like people will like uh, if they want that one channel that's on free to air. Maybe they're from uh, a country that has a different language, like uh, for example a Portuguese or a Spanish channel, and they want you know they'll, so there's a there's a channel on free to air that they want to watch and then they also have cable to get the rest of their stuff a lot of people do that as well and that's cable but we're talking about streaming and a lot of those channels <clears throat> you can stream with them too now there's subscription streaming uh, there's your Netflixes and and uh, YouTube Red and Amazon all those services you can go with them a lot of people are going with them because they're a lot cheaper than paying for cable for movies and stuff and that's an option too usually with an android box which is not very expensive i don't, know if the, I don't think it, android boxes are overly expensive there is receivers uh free to air receivers that do android but uh i had one the amico a3 and the thing i i called it the amico reboot because it kept crashing on me so uh, I, I'm not currently using that. I'm more using the Z Gamma receiver, but I'm able to get YouTube videos and uh, my satellite because I usually just watch YouTube and satellite stuff fly by, flying by here. Yeah. So the big pro about free to air, if your internet, if you don't have unlimited internet, are you limited to a certain amount of bandwidth you have? So you say you have it at a trailer or a cottage, you can just get like a small dish. And put it put it up. Like I have the options I have are I, I mean there's there's a lot. I have the the Shaw LTSS, which was a program that uh, the CRTC made Shaw do a, a few years back, where they gave free receivers and a free satellite dish. Had guys come and install it for you. Um, it was part of like an agreement certain broadcasters had with the C, uh, CRTC so that uh, global. Shaw, who owns Global, who owns Chorus Entertainment and all that, so they can all merge. So they have that program, but they don't offer that program anymore. So the local TV satellite solution is not the best solution because, like, people can't just cut cable and get that. And perhaps, you know, they, they had to know about the program, which was not very well advertised either. So they had that program, but now you can't even apply for it. I mean, I have it. I'm glad I do have it. I'm able to get some... I'm able to get... In my area, we don't get CBC over the air, which we pay for. So I'm able to get it through the LTSS um, satellite. And we don't get uh, CHCH Hamilton, which is uh, the only Canadian broadcaster that's different than everything else. Like you know, They're different than CTV. They're different than... Um, than uh, CBC like for example if you have a subscription service you'll get like you know they'll say well we have 200 channels but uh, like a good chunk of those are like the 10 CTV channels that are across the country the 10 I don't know if it's 10 but you know the the uh, different time zone channels 
um, of, of the Canadian networks, City TV and Global and all that stuff. So you don't really get, they say it's 200 channels, but it's, or through two, three, four hundred channels or whatever, but really you get all these other repeat channels that are like different time zone stuff. And now if people have PBRs, who needs that? <clears throat> but anyway, that was the LTSS. But I mean, it's an option. Um, another thing they should offer, and they do have that for, if you're in Canada, you're region block. I haven't checked it recently, but I do know a lot of the CTVs and Global and CBCs, you can go to their websites uh, and stream their content. So they'll have their full episode shows on there. I think they show ads. I mean, that's the future anyway. So this is a great alternative. You can get uh, your children's channels. You get your PBS Kids and your Smile of a Child channel. All right, so this video is just more of a rant. Uh, I'm waving my arms and ranting about things. I don't know. Streaming or satellite, um, I had a friend ask me, what, uh, how is this different from streaming? It is different, free to air is different than streaming. And, you know, if, if you don't have high speed internet, that's essentially that's one of the big things, but there is different. I know you get channels that you can't get um, with free to air, like you can get C-band channels. I don't know, uh, Decades is like a good example. It's, uh, I, I like Decades on 101 West. And Heroes and Icons. I think I watched a little bit of that this weekend. It's kind of nice Saturday morning having superhero shows that, to watch from the 80s and 70s. <laughs> like the greatest American hero or whatnot. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of just me going on about TV. But yeah, uh, let, let me know in your comments what you use. If you do use a subscription service, let me know how you like it in the comments. Either here on my Facebook page, Robbie Strike Videos, where I'll post this video when I... Sometimes I post a video on Facebook just before I put it up on YouTube. Just so that people can... Uh, well, it allows the image to go up on YouTube on Facebook a little bit better for sharing. And... Uh, Share a link if you have one. Now, YouTube's, uh, I've noticed they've prevented you from being able to put links in the comments. So, if you're having that problem, come to my Facebook page or to the group and you can post the link there. I don't care about that stuff. If you want to share a link to a, to a site, a video, go ahead, man. It's like, we'll help each other out. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I'm here to do is just to help people out and hopefully somebody can help me out with certain things that I'm having a hard time with because I'm not... I'm not a super expert on everything, but I have some knowledge that I can share. And if there's some more knowledgeable people, then I, I appreciate that as well. All right. So, all right. So this is a talking video, but please give it a like. Please uh, share. Maybe this is not one of my best videos, but uh, the other videos I've uh, done better work on, please give them a like, share, um, share the playlist with people. Go through, watch every, um, check out my playlists of videos. I have playlists for over-the-air stuff. I have playlists for free-to-air satellite stuff. Free, I like to call it free satellite TV. I know it's been referred to a lot as free-to-air, but I like to refer to what it is. Free, unencrypted, so free satellite TV. That's it in the clear, as, I, as how I like to refer to it as. And that's what the, why I hashtag a lot of my uh, stuff is free satellite TV. And, uh, oh yeah, people have asked me, what is my accent? And uh, being from Canada, I grew up in the Ottawa Valley, the Ottawa Valley. So I have like an Ottawa Valley accent, I guess, but also I lived in Vanier for a while. So even though I don't speak French, I think I kind of have a bit of a, I talk with my hands and <laughs> I speak uh, like a, uh, I, I got that accent probably from being around a lot of French people. And there's that, that Ottawa uh, French Ontario accent. So I got a bit of a mix of that with the Ottawa Valley accent. Again, I have a funny accent. I, I don't know. I just, I, I sound different. I have a hick accent and, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, so that's my accent. It's not like a Southern accent because I talk to some people, they have Southern accents like uh, uh, Brandon, Brandon Voss. Uh, you know, he, he's from like, he's from Tennessee. So he has that Tennessee accent. I like accents, so I'm not making fun of anyone. Everyone like it's just part of like people live in a region; they'll have an accent. 